Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I have some T.I. and Tiny T. We haven't talked about them in a while. So the other day, Tiny took to Instagram, and she basically, honey, just went, you know, crazy. And she posted this on Instagram, and everybody was like, okay, what the hell is going on here? So Tiny takes to Instagram, and she says, don't lose your bitch trying to keep up with a hoe that can't keep up with your bitch. Okay? In my tiny voice. <laughs> then she says, tough act to follow. So, of course, this spread all over Instagram and people were like, you know, insistent that T.I. was once again cheating. Folks were dragging T.I. T.I., why can't you just keep your pain in your pants? Why you keep slinging it like Tic Tacs all over damn Atlanta? So folks were upset. And so Page Six decided to reach out to Miss Tiny Harris. And so they did an interview. And this is what Tiny's saying. She's saying, y'all cannot think every time I post something that it means that we're in a bad place. I posted it, meaning he needs a reminding. It's not about my relationship at this time. I mean, we're good this week. So that is what she told page six. And in my personal opinion, when you're married to somebody and that's your husband, you shouldn't have to send them public reminders to keep their peen in their pants. That's just at this point, it's embarrassing, okay? We understand it's short skirt weather. You know what I'm saying? We know the thoughts are out and people are, you know, on the hunt for T.I. But I think she should have just sent him a text message. You know what I'm saying? But of course, that public message was for the Bernice Burgos and the other alleged side chicks out there. That was a public announcement for them to see that T.I. has been warned and he's going to be on his best behavior. You know, but at the end of the day, if he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. No amount of public shaming will change that. He's been cheating. You know, but I think they are in a better space. I do watch them on that Family Hustle show or Hustle Family and Friends or whatever. I like that show better than the one with the kids. So they seem to be in a better space. So hopefully T.I. will, you know, you know, stay on the right track and keep his peen in his pants and just save his peen for Tiny, okay? So now in other news that I find kind of disturbing, this morning TMZ posted that T.I.'s sister um died due to cocaine toxicity according to medical examiners so this is what was reported this morning on tmz if you guys don't know ti's uh older sister uh precious harris who was like a mother to him she was a lot older than ti i think ti is like the baby of the family so she was even more of a mother than a sister and um she was always on the show family hustle with the kids and stuff like that and i and i like precious on the show i thought she was a really sweet woman so this is what they reported they're saying that precious harris age 66 died february 22nd from cocaine toxicity which aggravated hypertensive cardiac disease aka high blood pressure according to tmz who reportedly observed the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Report. The report says that the high blood pressure caused an abnormal heart rhythm, which went on long enough that it disrupted the flow of blood to her organs and brain. The Medical Examiner's Report says Precious was suffering from several other ailments, according to TMZ, including chronic lung disease, kidney disease, and diabetes. The Medical Examiner's Office confirmed to Hollywood Life that the report lists cocaine toxicity and hypertensive cardiovascular disease as the cause of death we've also reached out to ti and his family reps for a comment but they have not gotten back to them so basically if you guys remember precious was behind the wheel of a dodge avenger which belonged to ti and on february 12th um she went unconscious and she crashed into a phone pole in atlanta and she had her granddaughter um carrie chapman in the car with her they were giving her cpr she ended up getting transferred to the hospital they sent her to the emergency room she was in icu for about a week and then she finally died on february 22nd okay so the family took this really hard you know all the kids ti tiny you know things like that i'm kind of bothered with this story because i'm trying to figure out why tmz felt it was necessary to go dig into this woman's um medical um examination and post it on social media another thing i find very very disturbing is now when you google the story to go look for it on tmz it now says it's 404 time sit back and relax so that means ti got that story pulled down expeditiously off of tmz 
But unfortunately, even though it's no longer on TMZ as of, you know, 10, 15 minutes ago, it's now spread all over the blogs, you know, and I feel like that was not their place to dig that up. So now that they've deleted it, is it true? Is it not true? Hollywood Life is saying that they also contacted the medical examiner's office and they confirmed it. So it seems to be true. You know, at the end of the day, does that make her a bad person because she may have had a substance abuse, you know, issue? No, it doesn't. You know, all I'm going to say is rest in peace to her. It's kind of sad that a celebrity's family member, because she wasn't necessarily the celebrity. You know, she was on the show, but she wasn't, it wasn't like she was T.I. or Tiny. So you would think that, you know, that being his sister, she'd have some type of peace where they wouldn't go digging into her background. But again, you know, we live in a crazy world. So rest in peace to Precious, and I hope T.I. and Tiny you know what I'm saying figure all this mess out and you know hopefully T.I. will you know do right you know summer 2019 stay on the right track be a family man and you know be there for Tiny and the kids and everything else so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning Tiny you know giving T.I. a damn warning shot and then TMZ basically leaking this story about Precious Harris only to delete it about an hour later so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces